Wall punch. Finish him. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And his name is John C. Boom. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces. So you know me, I'm usually the Minecraft guy on here. But uh, I figured I would kind of take a step away from Minecraft maps. I'm getting kind of burnt out a little bit on Minecraft. So I want to play something here to kind of like reset the system, cleanse the palate, and get out my violent urges to just beat the shit out of things, I guess. So this is Fights in Tight Spaces. It is a uh, deck building fighting game. Uh, oh, it actually looks like it just went uh, version one yesterday, which is today's the third. You're going to see this the day after, so the second. Um, I played a bit of this game during its beta, when it was in its beta, and I genuinely thought it was a pretty neat game. And, uh, yeah, I figured it would be something kind of cool to bring you guys. Um, I've always been a fan of kind of like deck builders. Um, I really got introduced during uh, Slay the Spire, and this is very, well, Slay the Spire is... Pretty much everything now is like Slay the Spire-esque. You like find that one game that kind of like, this is the pinnacle of yada yada yada. And now it's everything is, oop, as I just beat my mic there. Now everything is uh, Slay the Spire-esque. But uh, we're going to play a new game here, I'm sure. Um, enemies move fast, can restart the board on failure, rolls back three. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a classic plus. Oh, they got two agents now. I'm going to do Agent 11. Though they're both Agent 11. Agent 11. That's me. Oh, sir. We have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills. Oh, so now I get to so now I get to pick a deck. Did they come up with another one? Uh, so there's a balanced, which is a deck of good attack, defense, and combos. Um, this one is, you can actually do counter hits, so you can be in a defensive stance, take no damage, and then beat the hell out of the enemy. Aggressive is just attack. Um, slasher is, it's like bleeding. So you can stack, do stacks of bleed. Grappler is all about throwing and trickster is for the less conventional. I have had the best luck with balanced. Actually no, with aggressive, just literally just beating the hell out of people. And I'll kind of explain some of the stuff here in like the first couple rounds. But uh, I think I'm gonna go with aggressive on this first one. And we're going to start with, I already know how to do this, but I guess, I guess doing the training, so for the, I guess doing the training would be fine. It'll just help me kind of explain some of the uh, mechanics in here a little easier. I'm terrible explaining how to do stuff, except when I did that one factorio sequence. sequence. Uh, it's a turn-based deck building fighting game. Um, use the Q and E buttons to rotate your view left and right. Select the spinning backhand. So what? All right. So highlight a card and select the spinning back kick. So that's going to deal ten damage. Draw two cards, and you can see here it's got a range of two. So an enemy has to be two away from me to hit it, and I will maintain my distance, meaning I will hit them two away, but stay on the tile here that I'm at. And then I'm going to select them to carry out the action. You can see here they have twenty-eight health, and if they hit me, they're going to deal four damage. And up here is kind of like your relics and slay the spires. So I'm always, so I'm a tactician. So I'm always going to draw one extra card. Some cards require momentum. This right here to play. You can see this requires no momentum, but I'll gain momentum. This one requires two momentum. Some of this. A card cannot be played unless it meets the momentum cost. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play focus, which will gain me one momentum. Right? Oh, so I'm sorry. This is my momentum. This is my combo. So this momentum you can think of as your energy. Now I'm going to do the double jump kick. So I will uh, deal eight twice and advance towards the enemy. So I will occupy this space. So this is eight twice. So this should almost kill him. And I just love the graphics in this game and the art style. So he's got two health left, so this jab should kill him. I mean, knock him out. We don't kill here. All 
All right, so next level. So I think they're just going to kind of let me uh, rain free on this one. Oh, come across a variety of enemies. Some enemies give warnings where they... Uh, where and when new enemies will arrive. Look for this marker. If the tile is blocked at the end of the turn, the enemy will be prevented from arriving. This is a neat mechanic to play around with. And I can press enter to finish my turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, that's the fast forward. Press enter to just finish my turn. Okay. So I'm going to let these guys spawn in. Oh, I can press the alt. Oh, I didn't know I could do this. And see any enemy projectiles. So you see how this guy has a gun? If I'm in any of these tiles, when he fires his gun, I'm going to take damage at the end of his turn. So enemies will be activated if there are targeted players at the beginning of their turn or if any character enters their range during the attack. So, some of the, so this guy has an attack. Okay. Use a low kick. All right, this is kind of neat. So I'm going to kick him, and that kick will actually push him. And now you can see how he's in range of the uh, sniper shot here. I think I can end my turn here. It's not going to let me. Also show the order in which they will be attacking. Oh, I didn't know this. So he'll attack first, and then he'll attack second. So I'm going to finish my turn here. He's going to... He'll have nothing to attack, so he'll pass his turn, and then this guy's going to shoot. He shot his buddy. Enemies can move during their turn. All right. Depending on their attack range, they may move towards you if they're close range or keep their distance, like this guy, if they're long range. Enemies will try to stay away from tiles adjacent to avoid and get out of the way of other enemies. Use a jab on this guy. Now use a front kick to dispatch the last enemy. Now this is kind of cool. So you can see here, I'm going to deal 6 damage, push the enemy, and then advance. Or advance, then deal? Well, either way. So watch, I'm actually going to kick him off the map and do an insta-kill on him, even though he still had more health than I was going to deal damage. And this probably won't be a one-shot, I'll probably be kind of sprinkling in some of this game over the over the week. Maybe I'll do a bunch of this this weekend. Um, some cards have alternate movements. Use the option card to move close to an enemy. Option play. Move two six. Move two tiles or deal six. I'm going to move. And then I can use cards like the head smash when enemies are adjacent to a wall or barrier. Note the head smash will cause an enemy to face you, so they will have to look at you. If you survive the attack... Okay. Use the head smash on the guy. Frickin' wrecked, man. Jeez. Now, he, I didn't finish him, but he did turn to face me. So I'm going to play the block. So this will prevent up to 10 damage. He's going to deal third. He's only going to deal four. So I'll have six block left. So let's end my turn. He dealt four, but I had more block than he had damage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push this guy right off the edge and he's gone it's gonna let me oh no every time you make a successful attack your combo level it will increase combo is maintained in between turns but any movement you do will reduce your combo level by one for each tile of movement you need to reposition in order to attack note with very few exceptions you can only move in a straight line on the board use steps to get closer to the highlighted enemy this guy I'm going to use step, move into his field of range. Um, some cards require a specific combo level before they can be played. For example, spinning left kick. It needs two combo to be played. So it doesn't use momentum. It uses combo. And it won't necessarily... And some of them will use up all of your combo. So they'll say it's the end of the combo and this counter will go back down to zero. Use jolt to increase my combo level. Now, now that I have two combo, I can play this card on this guy and shove him into the wall and deal a little extra damage, too. So six damage plus the four for uh, running him into the wall. Uh, the enemy is primed to attack you, but you can choose to counter. So I've got eight. 
eight shield against his... Oh, where's the alt button? Against his four attacks. So I will be shielded, but then I'm going to counter hit him for a bunch. Uh, let's see here. Grapple requires multiple steps. First, click the card. Select an enemy. Oh, I select the enemy, then I select a destination. Uh, you'll come across cards and enemies with new abilities. As a reminder, you can hover over... Okay. A new mechanic. Help will pop up. Now finish the fight and use the information you've learned. Okay. What I want to do here... This is actually going to knock this guy back one. So you can see here he's going to be pushed. Deal 8 damage and push one. So he's out of here. Not a problem. I'm going to use a shift. Move here. And this guy has 5 health, so I'm just going to hit him with a quick jab. End the turn. He turns to face me. I'm just going to do a... Options play here. And I'm just going to straight up damage him. So I can do move or 6, and I'm just going to... Eat him. And it's such a cool game. The art style is... Like, incredible. Uh, new world threats. All right, so that's the training. So from here on out, I'm going to kind of assume that we have, like, a base level of what I'm going to do. Uh, Biker Wars 90s. We thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic Games. We're going to fight Vikings. They're back with a network of so-called houses across Scandinavia. Oh, I was joking about the... I was joking about the Viking Bikers, but... Viking Bikers! Band name! That's funny. All right, let's wreck some fools. The rollbacks allow you to prevent an action. Okay. I'll try to avoid using rollbacks. So let's do... Oh, this is going to be awesome. All right, check this out. So I'm going to... First, I'm going to pull this guy. So I'm going to pull him towards me. No, I'm, that didn't do what I thought it did. Okay. How do I want to do this? I kind of got a really shitty draw on this one. What I think I'll do is I'm just going to move. That's all I'm going to do. Because this I need a wall to jump off of, and I don't have anything. That was a really shitty pull. Alright, now we can finally do something. But what? That's gonna end my combo. Which I don't really have any. So this will deal like additional damage per combo. So it's pretty good. This is gonna give me some momentum. Is this gonna knock him back? No, it's not. I'm just gonna deal a whole bunch of damage to him. I'm going to... What I think I want to do here. What's this guy's range? Range attack that deals six. This will block six. How much health does he have? He has two health left. I'll just put up a block. Eat that hit. Wait. Oh, that didn't exactly work. He has more range than I thought he did. Oh yeah, he had more range than I thought he did. Okay. That's on me. That was a that was a stupid mistake. I can have my next attack deal double damage. Do I want to do that? Yes. I'll have double damage, so that'll deal twelve. I want to spinning kick this guy into the wall. 12 damage plus the 4 for running him into the wall. Uh, this will deal 3, so it won't quite kill him. I'll do a quick strike. Do a jab. And then just do a step. Alright, so he's 2 away. But fortunately, I can close the difference. So what we're going to do is I'm going to... So this will advance me. Kick him right into the wall, so that's 10 damage. Got 
Oh, baby. You're dead. You done. Uh, I don't need to save the replay. And because I completed the fight within six turns, I got some extra money and a new card. Ooh, this is a new one. No, that's not new. Yes, no, no, it isn't. I don't like the sound of it, though. Actually, shove is really good. I can just move an enemy. It's actually really handy to have. I'm going to go here to the alleyway so that I have the option of going to the gym to upgrade cards if need if I get enough money. Fight! I got two guys that want to shoot me. Hmm. All right, so check this out. I'm a slip. And I'm going to shove this guy into his buddy here so that they both have four damage dealt to them. Then do a quick strike. And let's see what happens here. Actually, no. I'll even do a little bit of a left spin kick here to keep things interesting. Kicks his buddy right in the ass and he gets shot. God, I love this game. Alright, 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 alright. How do I want to play this one? I don't have a wall directly behind me. Let's do a... That's only going to do three. I don't really want to end my combo, but I could just potentially... straight up murder this guy. And I'm all about that. I mean, brutally breaking his head. I miscalculated. No, I didn't miscalculate, because I'm going to gain a momentum here. Do a little bit of a dash and get out of the way. Damage you got 17. I'm only gonna deal 12. So we'll steal myself. Front kick this guy. Literally got one health left. Do I have yes, I do have something. I prescribe foot! I prescribe foot. All right, I'm just going to beat the hell out of this guy. Jab him. We're going to give him the old uh, quick root. 15 damage to all. I'm giving the old left kick. And I'm going to end my turn. Oh, hey, and I got the, the objective, reach the five combo. What does this do? Deal 18 damage and push the target back once. Let's see how this looks. Dude, it's literally like the Matrix. Uh, plus, nice. A new card, more money. So I like abilities like Long Strike, where I can just strike from two tiles away. That's pretty versatile my combo by two. I don't have a lot of need for... Actually, I have a ton of need for that right now. I'm pretty healthy, so I don't need a doctor. Let's go to the gym and let's pump some iron. Hello, I am Arnold. We get to pump some iron. Let's upgrade. Let's see here. Upgrade anything. What am I using a lot of right now? What does this upgrade do? Increase my combo by four. Holy shit. So if I get that, I could use... Like, jumping back kick right away. Oh my gosh. If I can... I don't have enough money for that, but that's a lot. So these require 120. I've got 110. Steel self. Actually, steel self becomes twice as good because I can deal twice as much damage with the next two attacks. That's getting upgraded. And then I have 10, so I'm just gonna... Vacate here. And I have a pretty okay deck. The block is honestly kind of useless, but we'll work around it. 
because this is such an aggressive deck, I picked the more aggressive deck. The block is, is more or less kind of useless for my purposes, and who is that guy? So what's your shtick? Um, attacks from far with their welding tools. Yep, I can see that. Charge up to three tiles. Gains nine block at the start of each turn. Okay, that's going to be a tough guy to deal with. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first do a slip and move uh, basically on the other side of this enemy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this guy front kick. I want to leave him in place there because he's not going to be able to hit me, but this guy's going to shoot him and deal 10 free damage to him. health do you have left? You have... Oh, this works. That should kill him. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move here. Jolt to gain a little bit of uh, momentum, and I'm gonna end my turn. Cool. I love the problems that just deal with themselves. Alright, so what do I got? What do I got? Okay, I see what I want to do here. I'm going to move in. I'm going to hook kick this guy. Just to deal a little bit of damage and get that two more momentum next turn. So, because he had nine block and I only dealt eight damage, I still haven't broken his block left yet. But I'm going to quick jab him, gain another momentum. Do a quick strike. And then I'm going to do a left kick. And make it so that he's no longer, I'm no longer in his firing line and I'm going to take no damage. So I find that the best strategies revolve around more or less manipulating the enemies to... Quite frankly, finish themselves off for me. Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a cool one. Alright, check this out. Steel self, double my damage. Left spinning kick to this guy. Dealt a whole bunch of damage. He's now gonna deal 23 damage to this poor guy. Unfortunately, this guy's gonna go first and kill this guy before he's gonna deal damage to him. No, he's only gonna deal 10. Alright. He's got 23 health left, so he's going to deal 10 damage to him. He's got 20 health, so he'll survive. He's not going to do anything. He's going to shoot him. So I'm going to do a... Do a hook kick. Get a whole bunch of damage off on him. Shove this guy into this guy to do 4 damage to each of them. And then I'm just going to take a step to the left. <laughs> okay. I deal 18 damage. Jab you. Front kick you. So I broke his block, as I hit him into the wall, dealt to 18. Jumping that kick, I'm gonna finish him off. And then my turn. Complete the fight within three turns. Is this turn three? I think this is turn three. This should be the end of him. I think I did everything right there. That was, that was clean. That was a solid level. Ooh, an upgraded card. All right, what do we got? We got quick kick, uh, deal eight damage, push, eh. But it's free. I can respect that. Throat punch, um, deal eight damage and stun the target so they don't act. And then heavy strike. Ooh. Okay. 
I'm going to take Throat Punch because the stun is really, really good. And let's try out this event here. Oh, um, there's a surprise party office. You're a trained agent, so you know all about it, and you don't like surprises. So I can sneak in and turn the tables on the guests and gain five health. I don't really need the five health. Pretty typed off. Go in and act like I don't know anything. All right. Or just leave. I'm going to take the 50 bucks. And I got gifts? Hell yeah! Um, how much am I doing? Ooh, 120. Let's go to the gym. And let's upgrade... Oh, 100 and... No, I want to upgrade... That's going to be... Oh my gosh, if I can get wall jump to pump to pop off, that's 40 damage. We haven't gotten to use it yet because I haven't been backed up against like a wall or an obstacle or anything. Maybe this time our luck will change. Ooh, this asshole. Check this out. She kind of... Sh she? Yeah, she kind of shoots off here in a cone. Saw it off, deal 10 damage, and push the enemies back. She's going to go last. What do I want to do here? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this guy towards me. I'm going to quick uh, give him an old, give him the old kick. Shove him. Oh, this is about to get real interesting. And then just back away. So as I end my turn here, shoots him. It's him. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right. So let's... Heal myself. Uh, do a quick jab on her. And then just take a step back. And then. Here's what we're going to do first. We're going to... I don't have any walls, so I still can't use that. He's got 12 health left. I'm going to just... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, it won't, it won't work. Never mind. Well, this is going to work. He's out of here. But I thought there was a wall here. There isn't. Not in the right spot, anyways. Let's do a little dash here. I don't want to throat punch this this chick because she's gonna take care of that gunman for me but i am going to give her a quick hit a jolt to pop myself up and end the turn Whew. brutal two more enemies to kill 26 damage quick strike Oh, here we go. Jumping back kick will just kill. Woo! She flew! And I'll take a step back. This guy will get a little closer. Oh, baby, here it comes. I'm going to pull this guy towards me. Wall punch. Finish him. Oh, 40 damage, baby. Let's go. A new upgraded card, and I completed the fight within eight turns. Grapple. Combo gain. Target will turn to face away. That's actually pretty handy to be able to, again, face targets away. Um, I've only got 60. Let's 
do the gym again. Let's let's work towards the gym again. Oh, hey, this is a fun one. So I have to uh, kind of throw me on the opposite side here. So if I, so this guy, if you, he can auto attack once per turn. So if you get in his range, there, you're taking damage. If I can collect the briefcase in five turns, that's one of my objectives. Collect the briefcase within five turns. I don't want to do this. Okay. I'm going to step. A throat punch a fool. Rap. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. Quick strike. And then left spinning kick him. Ooh, just like straight up out of the game. Damn. Alright, I got two more. I'm assuming these are... Oh, they're security. I thought they were like a corrupt cop kind of thing. I don't want to play this. So we'll steal self. Do a big ol' front kick. A hook kick. And I guess I'm at my turn here. Don't really have a good answer for these guys right this second. I'm gonna slip. But give them the slip. Gonna jolt up. Goes up to seven. So this is gonna do 22 times three. Not quite enough to kill him, so let's gain momentum. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna do a big kick on this guy. I lose all my momentum, but that's why I have it, to use it up like that. Let's do a rope punch on this guy. He's not doing anything. He can't attack me, so if I were to attack him and not kill him, he would retaliate and push me back. But because I paralyzed him, or I stunned him, he's doing shit. And I'm gonna shove him that way. Jolt to level up. I got one more enemy. The briefcase is right there. I'm just gonna step and grab the briefcase and secure that. And then my turn. He's right there. What do I got? I'm not going to be able to complete this within three turns. That's only going to do 12. So if I give him a front kick to get him out of my way here, I don't really have any other good way of going after him without taking damage. Unless... I'm going to do something kind of ambitious here. That did not work how I was hoping. So I'm just going to end my turn and take the W on that uh, completing the fight within... Oh no! Complete the fight within two turns. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm still going to complete it. Okay, well, let's... Broke punch a fool? Uh, I don't want to left spinning kick him yet. Oh, let's kick him. Take a step towards him. Kick him into the corning wear and end my turn. And now I just have to deal six damage to him. Let's have fun with this one. I'm going to grapple. Any target into the adjacent tile, target will turn to face away. I'm going to steal myself. I'm going to give him a jab. <laughs> Kidney punch! Ah, damage taken one. New card, collected the briefcase. 
What do I get for... Oh, I get plus two maximum combo. Oh, so my combo can go to 12 now. Nice. Ooh, Vault. I like Vault. Gain one to random and one combo. Remove two tiles. I do like Vault as a... Oh, you're in the middle of the rooftop taste, you slip and fall. Lose a random card, gain a random new card. Attempt a cool three-point landing. Hit the ground and hope for the best. You know what? I'm all for the superhero landing. Lose five health, pick a card to remove. What do I want to remove? What's kind of useless? Honestly, surprise attack is kind of useless. I am yet to use it. Hammer Fist. Maintain a combo. Force a character to move two tiles to you. Nerve attack. Does not trigger auto attack. That's kind of awesome. I would much prefer to just upgrade my card and try and keep like a leaner deck. Five damage. Eh. A spinning kick deals 12. Front kick also deals 12. A pull. How does pull change? Retain the card at the end of your turn. Oh, so it just stays in my hand. That's kind of handy. Jolt just to straight up increase my combo. Shove. Oh, shovel just inherently deals 6 damage. Pretty good. Ooh, but vault costing zero is very valuable. Yeah, we're gonna go with vault here. So I know that I have an aggressive, I'm supposed to be, I have an aggressive deck here, but I also kind of like that I'm mobile. So I can get in range to use the, oh my God, it's Hulk Hogan. Welcome to fights in tight spaces, brother. Not a super strong draw here on this first one. So what I think I'll do... I'm gonna dash. I'm gonna kick this guy in the face. I'm going to grapple him and send him over here. So he's still, so he's gonna shoot his boss. And then I'm going to vault here. And then my turn. That was worked out pretty well. So my only objective here is to kill the boss. The minions don't matter. They're going to spawn in more. So what I'd like to do... So I've only got one slip. So let's... Deal a bunch of damage to you. Slip. Steal myself to deal a... Oh, he turned to face me. Uh, shoot. That should be fine. Quick strike. And block. And I'm going to take a bunch of damage here. Yeah, I took 10. That was kind of sloppy of me. I didn't realize... Uh... Target has attack, will turn to face the player. I should have realized that. That was on me. So let's jolt, gain some combo. Let's do something kind of complicated here. not going to work. I'm still going to take damage. So if I... I'm going to do this. No matter what I do, I'm still going to take damage here. I'm just going to shove this guy off in this direction. 
And that guy's going to deal 12 damage to me. That guy's going to deal 16. At least I can deal a bunch of damage to that guy. So let's... Okay, this will be pretty straightforward. This will be pretty streamlined. Ooh, I got to be careful. I only got nine health left. I'm going to throw punch this guy. He's got 12 health left. I'm going to shove him. I'm going to deal four. I'm going to jab to get an extra momentum because I miscalculated, and then I'm going to finish him with a sick back kick. And that's level one. Or level one. That's round one. It was ugly, but I completed all my objectives and a new enhancement. Complete the fights within 20. Oh, 20 health. So my health does carry over in between worlds. Toned body. Gain health every time. Okay. Add 8 to max health. And per turn momentum by 1. Hmm, <clears throat> this is a tough one. So late game, I'm going to be skipping a lot of card rewards because I don't necessarily need them and I want to keep a lean deck. But just straight up having eight max health, but increased increased maximum and per turn momentum. Oh, this is a tough one. I know I'm going to skip a lot of card rewards, and just having five health would be nice. But also having more health would be nice, but also increasing my momentum. So, what does my momentum mean? My momentum means I'll be able to take more actions per turn. Which means I should be able to take costlier cards. Which should mean that I will be able to deal out more damage, which would, necess which would hopefully prevent me in the future from taking damage. If that prevents me from taking damage, then these two would become irrelevant. I'm going to take the maximum boost. And I believe right there is where we're going to end this playthrough. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, please leave a like in the com leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I would like to kind of rotate this in with my regular with my regular content because it is such a fun game. And uh, who knows, as I get better, as you guys get more into the game, as we learn more as it comes out and they add in more stuff, this could be a mainstay on the channel, or games like this could be a mainstay on the channel. But uh, that's all the time we have, unfortunately, for today. Uh, see you next time.